So I want to bring up a song in G Mixolydian for you now. This is called the Introductory Allah Dance. It was given to us by Mershid Samuel Lewis, or known as Mershid Sam. He was a great American mystic that arose out of the Western Sufi tradition. So, as I said, this piece is in G Mixolydian. So, you know, copy down this, uh, this paper, if you can. Uh, the words are Allah, the name of God, uh, Er-Rahman, meaning the compassionate, the er the merciful. So these are two of the great qualities that are attributed to the divine, the compassion and mercy. So you see the same thing in the uh, Buddhist tradition as well as in the Sufi and the Muslim tradition. So, uh, without spending a lot of time on this subject, because maybe I'll, I'll, I'll tackle it somewhere down the road, I, I really want you to try to use your ears as much as possible, but there's nothing wrong with having notes in front of you. It's, it sure makes things a lot easier. So, uh, so here we have, like, these double bars over there. So that signifies an entire section of music. Here's another double bar and another double bar, so that signifies yet a, a second section of the music. So there's four, between this, this uh, double mark and that line right there, there's four beats transpiring in there, between there and there, another four beats. These, are, these little sections are called bars or measures, they go by al alternate names, okay? So this little round note with a little stem sticking out of it signifies two beats, so two beats and two beats, four all together. The next section, two beats and two beats, two beats and two beats, two beats and two beats. So all together there's four bars of music here, and each one of them has four beats. Now with the next section, two beats, two beats, oh, this note here uh, signifies a beat of four. So again, two beats, two beats, and this one is uh, four beats. So uh, and it repeats again. So you have eight measures, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the form of this composition, okay? So let me show you how it gets played. So G, open tuning, uh, no capo, right? So A. Is these top three, top three strings? I think of them as kind of the women's voice, and then the bottom three as kind of the men's voice. So you know, you can have like a when in your playing, you can kind of have like a, a mental call and response thing going on. So the other thing that I wanted to show you, first of all, I, I want to play the entire tune in octaves, so we get in some octave practice. But this section here goes eight, eight, eight. Eight, 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 two, three, four. So, uh, you know, if I'm in a circle of musicians, that, that kind of leaves room for some improvisation. You know, you can kind of fill in because the, you know, the zikr is being held for a long note, and you have room rhythmically and kind of melodically underneath to do something with that. So, if I'm in a circle of musicians, I would say, hey, I like to do this in uh, G mixolydian. And, you know, maybe if everybody's agreeable, great. I mean, there's, you only have two notes in this melody, an eight and a five, and so, you know, some, somebody else might want to do it in uh, some other scale that has an eight and a five in it and lots of variation. Uh, you know, that's the art of negotiation between musicians. You know, you try to come to a common understanding. But mixolydian mode has kind of a strong, uh, kind of a, 
a marching quality to it. It's very joyful, and so it's a really it's a really good choice for this particular zipper, uh, since it's not specified by the melody. So uh, when you get to this section, you can improvise. So let me let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna do I'm gonna do it with octaves. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. a practice that make sure you land right on time for the 888 you know you don't you, you don't want to blow the rhythm but you you know you have some leeway in the middle there to to improvise so let's do this zicker okay so it goes a